Hi there, I'm Lisa Marie. Welcome or welcome back. Today we're going to do some Dollar Tree DIY crafts on a budget. Using Dollar Tree napkins. I have these gorgeous napkins with these leaves on them. They are three ply. And I've got this little sign from the Dollar Tree. And these are peonies from the Dollar Tree and one from Amazon. The Amazon ones are gorgeous. I'm going to put some tape on the back of my napkin to remove the ply. It makes it come off very easy. And then this is the third ply coming off. And then I'm gonna go around with a spatula and try to get this this paper off the front. I thought I was doing such a good job and I peeled it off and it wasn't off. So I sprayed it down with some water and got it off. And I use this staple remover that I got at Amazon. It's gotta be the most heavy duty, best staple remover I've ever used. Anyway, and then I'm gonna pull off the sign and you see it was like halfway on the sign and I'm gonna move it up to the top. I put the arrows there. That way there's less of the stick showing. I'm going to add a hanger on the back with some hot glue and some masking tape and I'm going to paint it with my Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint. Then I'm going to place the napkin right where I want it and in sections I'm going to lay down a thin coat of Mod Podge and very carefully spread the, the napkin out on top of the wood. And just try to avoid bubbles and wrinkles. I don't mind a little bit. And I'm going to put Mod Podge over the whole thing. Now this is a different way to do it. While it's still wet, you can carefully rip it around the sides. But once it's dry, I went around with a nail file to make sure I got everything off. I'm going to take that gorgeous peony from Amazon and I'm going to glue it right on. And then I'm going to cut off some of the little petals on the peonies from Dollar Tree because I want them to seem smaller. And I'm going to glue them right next to it and have some leaves there as well. I just think it's beautiful and the combination of the two is gorgeous. I have this really cool mesh ribbon and a little um, sheer ribbon that matches and I'm just going to cut one piece, cinch it in the middle with some twine and then I'm going to wrap the sheer ribbon around about five or six times and then tie that in the middle and then just kind of pull out the little um, loops and it just makes for a cute little bow. I probably should have made it a little bit bigger but I'm okay with it. Anyway, I'm just going to tie the twine, knot it off, and then I'm going to take that mesh one and cinch it, like I mentioned, and then I'm going to attach that to where the stick goes up on that sign, basically putting it upside down. And that's why the, the top part's going to have the bow. So I'm going to put that on there with some hot glue, and then I'm going to put the bow right in the middle of that with the hot glue as well. And I just think this one came out so pretty. I love it. And that napkin is just gorgeous. I just, I've never seen them before, and I it's been a while since I bought it, so I'm not sure if they still have it, but it is just such a beautiful napkin. I love this one, and I hope you guys love it too. This box at Hobby Lobby it was on clearance for it was under eight dollars and then originally I think it was 39 beautiful it's got cane on the side it's a nice box it's got a little bit of faux leather for the handle and then I've got these gorgeous napkins from the Dollar Tree and I love that pattern around the side so I'm just gonna use that part with some Mod Podge I'm gonna take a piece of tape because it's a two-ply napkin and if you put a piece of tape on the back and then pull it apart, it separates the plies so easily. I learned this trick from a channel called Chalk It Up Fancy and I'll have their link in the description box if you wanna check them out. So I sanded the top and the bottom just to make sure there weren't any rough patches. Now I'm gonna take my napkin and kind of position it how I would like it to be. And then I'm gonna fold back a section and I'm gonna use my Mod Podge and not heavily, but very lightly. I've misplaced my brayer. I've gotta get a new one. So I'm doing this with my hands. So I didn't want it to be too wet and I'm actually pushing very lightly to get out the wrinkles. I'm okay if there's a little bit, it kind of adds to the charm. And now I'm gonna do another section and then the final section when I add some more napkin to this. And now I'm going to cut away that part where it's just white and I'm going to cut another piece to fit in there and add some more flowers on there. And it's a busy pattern so it's not going to look like I piecemealed this. It's just going to connect right into the pattern. Okay. 
And here comes the little piece that I cut. Just gonna lay it on there carefully. And like I said, after you get it attached, you don't really notice at all the difference. I'm just gonna make sure all the little ends are down. And then I will go ahead and use my brush to kind of flatten it a little bit as I cover the whole top in Mod Podge. And without the brayer handy, that's gonna be my best bet. Yeah, there are other ways to do it with Saran Wrap and also with an iron, but I just chose to go ahead and do it this way. Now I'm going to take a nail file and in a downward motion, I am just going to take off that excess napkin. Now I've waited till this dried, otherwise you might pull the whole thing off. So once it's dry, you can go around the edge and do that. And look how beautiful and a clean edge it is. I'm going to take my Agave Chalk Paint by Waverly. It's my favorite Waverly color. And I'm just going to go around the edges. Now I put six little felt circles on the bottom and I put Mod Podge throughout the inside and on the one little piece in the front. And there is my lid and I'm gonna put this back together using a screwdriver to put the pieces back. I really love how this turned out so pretty. These gorgeous coastal napkins actually weren't from Dollar Tree. These were from Hobby Lobby. They were $2.99, but on clearance. A piece of the longer wood sign with the seahorse cut out on it, and then a frame from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to put the tape on the back of the napkin, rip it apart, and I got this really cool cutting tool. My friend Leonep at DIY Beauty on Purpose mentioned it in a video, and I thought, I need to have that. So anyway, I'll put her link down in the description box. And you can see just how nice this thing cuts. Excuse my table. It was moving a little bit because I was putting way too much pressure. <laughs> so what I do is I just cut off that top piece where the holes were, and I just sand around the edges and clean them up. And now I've got this cute little piece that I can do something with where I already used that bottom of it. It was a much longer side. I'm gonna take everything out of the frame and I'm not gonna need the glass, so we're just gonna put that aside. And then I've got this piece of cardboard and I'm gonna trace the backing of the frame on it and cut it out because I want to put everything on a piece of cardboard. Otherwise, there'll be too much space in the frame because the glass won't be going back. So I'm gonna use that little cutter tool again and it looks how nice it is. It's also got a great little hand grip. Anyway, that should be in my Amazon store. I will make Make sure it gets in there in case you guys want to check it out. Anyway, I'm going to lay the napkin right over the top of this cardboard. And again, I'm going to do it in sections. Just lay a very little bit of Mod Podge down. Gently rub with my fingers to make sure that it stays. And I'm always rubbing towards the edges. That way, if there's any wrinkles or bubbles, they can be, you know, kind of come out by the time you hit the edge. I am going to put another coat of Mod Podge over the entire thing just to make sure it's all nice and sealed in there. And once it dries, I'm going to take my nail file, go around the edges and clean them up in a downward motion. So there you can see me with the nail file. So now that I've got that done, you can see that it's all finished. And I'm going to take that gold frame. Gold isn't really my thing here. So I'm going to paint it with the Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint. And I do want it to look a little bit distressed. And since the gold is underneath, I'll just take the nail file, go around and let some of that gold show through. And that would be a really cool way to distress it. So that's all done. Now I'm gonna place everything back in, including the new piece of cardboard with the napkin on it. I love that napkin. I actually did a mirror with that napkin. I'll have to link that video. You can check it out. It came out so pretty. There we are. And now I'm just gonna take that seahorse piece of wood. I'm just gonna hot glue it right in the middle. That's how easy this is. And look how cute it's gonna turn out. And it will go in my bedroom with all my other coastal things. And actually that napkin matches the mirror that's in there. So I just, you know, not a matchy matchy, but a little bit. Anyway, I love this and I hope you guys love it too. So I'm curious, what is your favorite decorating style? Let me know down in the comments. Look at these gorgeous Dollar Tree napkins for the win. Oh my gosh, that flower is so beautiful. I think it's a rose. And these are two ply. I just love them. And then I've got this cute little hanging sign with a little hanger on it from Dollar Tree. And it's got a hanger in the back too already. It makes it so easy when that's already done. I'm going to take my Rust-Oleum Linen Chalk Paint for this one. But first I'm going to cut out just one of those flowers. That's all I need for this one. This is super, super easy. Then I'm gonna take my tape and put it on the back and pull apart the two plies and keep the one that I really need. I always use the backing like if I need to wipe my fingers on something. So there you go, I don't waste any of it. 
I'm going to take a little baby paintbrush and mist it with water and I'm going to go around the flower and then I can just rip around it. It looks so much better when you do that instead of cutting and you know it's not a big deal because when it's wet it just rips so easily. So I do that all around the entire thing. See how it's wet all the way around just so you can see what I did to it. And there it is, all ripped out. And now I'm gonna use my screwdriver and just remove the little hook because I'm not gonna keep what it says on there, obviously. So I'm gonna sand it down the best I can. I couldn't get the paper off this one. It doesn't matter how hard I tried. So I just sanded it as much as I could. I'm gonna do three coats of that Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint because otherwise it just wouldn't have covered. But no big deal, it's a small little piece, so there we go. Now I'm gonna lightly sand it just so that I have a smooth surface to place that rose on. I'm gonna set it where I want it and then just do sections at a time like I always do. Put a light coat of Mod Podge down and then very carefully press that onto the surface going towards the edges with my finger. I promise I'm gonna get a new brayer. <laughs> and I'm just finishing up the other side of the flower. I think this is so pretty. I mean, just one flower, that's all it needed. I just think it's so simple and just beautiful just by itself. I'm gonna do a generous coat on top just to make sure it's nice and sealed in. And you might see I have a little leaf hanging over. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that hang over. I'll Mod Podge that on as well. And then I'll just take my nail file and just take the excess off the edge there. I thought that was kind of cute. So now I'm just gonna put back the little hook and then the little screws that came with it somehow fell off my desk and I couldn't find them. I even went searching with a magnet, couldn't find them. So I put two other screws in, but they were silver. So I'm gonna use my European gold rub and buff and I'm just gonna cover that up and then put a little bit on the rest of the hook. And then it just looks like it was always that way. I love this, so cute, so easy. You could hang your keys on it. You could hang a scarf, whatever you want. Just so fun. I hope you guys like it. You'll have to let me know which one was your favorite today. Thank you so much for watching today. You are truly a blessing to me. If you enjoyed this video, I've got another one on the screen that I think you'll really like. So if you want, go ahead and click on it. And if you do, I'll see you there. Bye.